Honestly, I don't. I don't. You don't know. know. Yeah, got. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that. It's really unclear. There is very clearly a place where we will be with Christ for eternity. There is very clearly a place where you are separated from God for eternity. There is a there is a literal hell. You know, it's just is that weeping and gnashing of teeth and stoking the fires? I really don't know. I see more of hell on earth, so I am more occupied in that. Hell as a as as a um. a punishment. I think Jesus was very clear. Just, I believe the scriptures. I believe when they talk about hell, um, but I also see contradictions in how the Bible talks about. It. So again, it comes back to that plain, the plain reading of the text. It's yeah, it's sure. not so plain to me. Would you say that that's the case for most people who would call themselves either a progressive or the included no. group? Okay. No, I don't, I don't. I don't think you can generalize because I just think it is how you read scripture. It's whether you even have looked into this. Uh, it's it's your journey of your life. And I think I think scripture is clear. We can we can gussy it up all we want, um, but the only one who's ever been there is Jesus, and he has something to say about it. Heaven. Sometimes I get a taste of that now, but um, all I know is it's a mystery, and I won't know. So heaven and hell is where we're living now. Um, and on the other side of glory, I'm hoping um, I'm hoping that I sort of forget about some of the misery of the hell of this world. Everybody thinks, well, I'm good and I'll, I'll be good enough. For him. Well, who who's good enough? It's got nothing to do with good. Heaven is the place where people who are forgiven, people who love Jesus, people who have a relationship with him, that's for heaven.